click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in today's session we are going to study about pmma pmma is one of the most important polymers in this session we'll study the reaction of it the properties of it and the uses of it this polymer is synthesized that means it is man made if it is man made it must be having many useful properties so let us see all of them in this session PMMA polymethyl methacrylate PMMA is synthesized by polymerization reaction now over here we shall understand that each and every reaction in this chapter will be known as polymerization reaction we have studied the different kinds of reactions but over here when the product is a polymer and that is the reason why we will always say it is a polymerization reaction of methyl acrylate methyl acrylate will be my reactant over here using a catalyst the catalyst used over here is acetyl peroxide and it is the most commonly used catalyst over here this is my reactant reactant is nothing but what over here methyl methacrylate see the structure of it i have carbon double bond carbon this carbon is attached to ch3 and over here i have cooch3 now what is cooch3 over here i have one r r is nothing but my functional group so r c o o r r c o o r is nothing but my ester so ester is the main functional group of my monomer that is my reactant the reactant itself over here is so complex it is not a simple propylene or an ethylene group it is a complex monomer which has a double bond with a carbon the next carbon is attached to one methyl group and one ester group why ester because r c o o r and over here the r itself is a double bond over here let us see the valencies of the carbon the carbon over here has two valencies and two more to attach and this entire thing is n times over here now what happens in my polymerization reaction generally the double bond that is the two bonds between the two carbon break off and finally we have a single bond over here the same thing will happen over here so in your polymerization reactions learn the monomers and then break off the double bond and you will get the corresponding polymer for the same so over here i have a monomer in the polymerization reaction in presence of a catalyst the catalyst over here is acetyl peroxide and because of this catalyst acetyl peroxide the double bond over here will break to a single bond so over here in my product side the double bond breaks off and i just have a single bond over here and since this double bond is between this carbon and this carbon both these carbons will get one one valency each because that double bond was shared between both of them so over here the first carbon it has just two valencies over here instead of two i will just add one more and i will get three valencies so over here one two and three on my reactant side there were two on my product side there are three this carbon it has one methyl group one ester group attached to it but since this is breaking so i will have one more valency attached to it so methyl group and ester group will be as it is but overall i'll have one more valency attached to it you take n times the monomer you get n times the polymer and this reaction is known as polymerization reaction forming pmma that is polymethyl methacrylate let us see the properties of it it is a transparent and colorless plastic easy to mold into desired shapes and its refractive index is 1.59 1.59 is a very good refractive index and because of that its utility gets increased to a great extent at lower temperatures it is brittle and rigid for example we have the tv screens the tv screens were first made by glass but now we have lcds we have leds and all these are made up by different polymers so they are rigid they are very hard but they are also brittle so if you put a stone on it or throw a glass on it it will break off so they are brittle as well as rigid when heated slowly acquires rubber like properties at about 65 degrees celsius whereas softens about 130 degrees celsius now when i say soften so it means it is has its melting point so at 130 degrees celsius the entire polymer will turn into a liquid format the solid will liquefy over here the uses of it it is used for artificial eyes screens for tv aircrafts light fixtures also used for optical instruments bone splints adhesive paints etc in skylights decorative articles since this polymer is such widely used and has such great utility this is one of the most used commonly used and one of the highest made polymers is pmma so we are in today's session we studied about pmma we studied how to make pmma with the help of the polymerization reaction and the catalyst used different properties of it 
and why it has such high utility and different uses of it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.